Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing and doing well. Today I am coming at you with a fall winter trends video. I love these videos. I've been watching them a lot. I'm just like scrolling through them and just watching a bunch. So I was like, I'm gonna make one, talk to you guys about some fall trends, some fall, why do I keep only saying fall? Fall and winter trends. And then we can talk about them in the comments below. We can talk about which ones we're like, mm, girl, no. Or the ones where we're like, yes. Excuse this background, guys. I feel like I could have done it better, but my room's a mess and I just didn't want you guys to see how rough it was. So we're working with this. The lighting's not that great, but I'm like, I'm gonna get this video done for you guys because fall and winter you know it's coming the the clothes are already out we need to figure out what we want you know the thrift stores we got it we got to get this figured out so let me get into this video and let's talk about fall and winter trends and what we're gonna be wearing and what we're not gonna be wearing you know because you don't have to wear every trend you see if it doesn't suit you and you don't like it don't buy it yeah mm -hmm. I want to start with like the overarching trends that I'm seeing a lot on the runways or like Nene Porter talking about. It's chocolate brown. Chocolate brown has taken over. I don't know what happened. You know what? Actually, I think I do know what happened. Let me know if you guys think this is also true. I just thought about it. Meghan Markle wore this chocolate brown like silk. I think I, I'm sure it was silk because you know Meghan Markle money now. It was like a silk skirt and she wore it with a uh, chocolate brown or just like a brown turtleneck and I think she wore this was it the beginning? I think it was the beginning of this year. It was like before her and Harry left, but they were still in the process of leaving. That situation, I'll pop the picture up. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But it was this beautiful skirt, and I think that just inspired fashion designers. Like, that's just my opinion. I think it's true. To go with chocolate brown, to be like the hugest overarching theme of the fall and winter season. Let me know what you guys think down below. I've been searching for my own chocolate brown skirt too, so yeah, she has had an effect, you know? It, it, it affected, the Megan effect, it affected me too. Not just chocolate brown, like browns just in general are really taking over this fall and winter season. We're also seeing like taupe is in, beiges, just anything neutral. I think it's also coming from how we're all in this state of just being kind of like, huh, now we kind of just wanna you know, just subdued, just very calm, calm colors. Maybe that's what it is. We're going for calm colors. We need calm in our life, so we're going for calm colors. They're just gonna make us feel, you guessed it, calm. This color right here is uh, like a cinnamon -y, I guess I would kind of say, almost in the brown family, you know? I picked it up from ASOS. I only got it because I really, really wanted it, and I know it's gonna be in my wardrobe for a long time, because, you know, again, with you don't want to just buy trends because you want to buy them and then if you never wear them it's bad for the earth it's not good for you know any of us so make sure if you're going to be buying from this browns you know situational uh trend that it's going to be something you really love and you're going to be wearing a lot okay moving on to the next overarching theme it's statement pieces so i think this also goes into what we're going through right now a lot of us aren't dressing up a lot when we're heading out to you know to the grocery store or to wherever you know hopefully we're not going a lot of places and if you are wearing a mask uh -huh. we're just not wearing a lot of like ba bam pieces right now you know so I think where this comes in is that fact and so we're gonna be doing it in our accessories so chains specifically are huge right now chain detailing on purses specifically um, but also necklaces chain necklaces she did a good job of like showcasing what their what the trend is so if you're looking for that I would look up Gucci it's not a trend that I'm gonna be going for but if that's your thing then you should look it up and look into it I think it's actually a cute trend because it's a great way again of like putting something to your look that will make it like ba bam but without having to feel that way and feel like burdened by what you're wearing it's just a nice way to throw on a purse with a chain on it and then you have your statement piece and you're done so that's that trend that's kind of like the overarching trends that are happening so dressing more subdued but then you know doing some flavor in our accessories particularly the chains and then we're going for new more neutral colors specifically browns and gray also gray is also taking over so if you love gray this is your moment this is your moment so now let's get into the more specific and like niche trends that are happening right now for fall and winter the first one I have on here is leather I know what you guys are thinking you're like leather's always in for fall and winter but this year it is like everywhere leather leather trousers leather uh, jack like or faux leather you know faux leather jackets faux leather trousers it, leather is just taking over so again if you want a piece that's gonna last you and 
pretty much stick around. I would go for a leather that's kind of more of a neutral, and that's actually what is in right now. So like chocolate leathers, burgundy leathers, um, taupe beige leathers, those will really work if you wanna, you know, go for a trend. They're making vegan leather look really realistic right now, so I would consider those options. But yeah, there's a lot of different things. Also secondhand, you can, this is a trend where you could really just pick it up at the like Goodwill, you know, it's so easy because 70s, the 70s look is really in right now. And there's so many at the thrift store. Or you can go on Poshmark, pick one up for like 20 bucks. That is the way to go. I would not spend like $500 on a leather jacket. Like you guys, you can get them second hands. And then we go into fringe. Fringe is so big right now. Fringe is having a very big moment. Now, again, I will say, this is not a trend I think that is going to be around in a, for a very long time. I think, you know, fringe tends to go back and forth, so I would be careful with this trend. Again, you can thrift it if you want to try it out and have some fun. I wouldn't invest in this trend. It's not something that I feel like is a necessity to have either, but it's also fun. So if you're going to go for a fringe, you know, piece, go for it maybe in like a classic print or something. I wouldn't go for like metallics in, some people are doing like metallic, like fringe dresses. Eh, is it wearable a lot? No. Is it fun to have? You know, maybe, but I would go for a piece. If you're looking for long lasting pieces, I would go for one and maybe like a plaid or a check and that way it's gonna last in your wardrobe for, sorry, I just hit my chair. Um, but that way it's gonna last in your wardrobe for a much longer time. Chunky combat boots. My goodness, they are taking over chunky combat boots. Y'all, I bought some, because I didn't have any, okay? I had some combat boots, like in high school, I still had them, they were raggedy, I needed to replace them. So I got I got myself some chunky boots, some chunky black ones, they're coming, I'm so excited for them. But it's a trend, but it's also a classic. A combat boot is such a classic that's gonna be in your wardrobe for so long, so this is definitely a trend I would invest in. They're so cute, they go with so much. And nowadays people are wearing them with like anything. Like you could wear, I would wear actually the chunky black combat boot with this dress. Like a knit, you know, maxi dress, like a rib knit maxi dress. I'd wear it with a flowy dress. I'd wear it with a, like a boho dress. Combat boots, just in general, taking over. But also the Chelsea chunky boot is really in. So you can find those anywhere and those are really big right now. I'm gonna stick to the more combat you know, trend because I feel like it's gonna last longer. I'm gonna show pictures like right here as I'm talking because hopefully, hopefully I'm being specific enough, but you know, pictures are helpful. So I'm gonna have some pictures flashing of what I'm talking about so you guys can see that. And then I'll link some stuff down below so you can look at the trend stuff yourself and you know, take a better look. Another trend we're seeing is plaid. I feel like a lot of these trends are just things that have already happened, which is fashion in itself. But really this year, or the, for this season, sorry, for this season, we're just seeing a lot of trends that have already happened and I think that's just us again wanting to just feel like safe in our clothing right now like not wanting to feel like we're you know doing too much because there's just so much going on you just want to be able to put something on and feel good in it and not feel like oh my gosh this is a new trend and I'm not comfortable so I'm really excited about this and I'm glad that the like the designers kind of had foresight I don't know I don't know what happened but it worked out this way and so Plaid is, is in. Plaid, you know, specifically like 80s prep plaid and tartan, tartan, I think it's tartan, that is really in right now. And again, I'll pop some pictures right here. So 80s prep, which is just huge right now. Um, I, I'm thinking, kind of think, I, see, Clueless was from the 90s, but I feel like that also took a little bit from the 80s. So kind of think Clueless, but a little bit more preppy. Again, I will flash photos of what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, sweater vests, huge, 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 huge. Sweater vests are so huge right now. I'm thinking of maybe purchasing one secondhand because I don't really know if they're gonna be something that sticks around, but I also kind of want to try it. So let me know what you guys think about sweater vests in the comments down below. Like a grandpa situation, it's like your grandpa, you know, just chilling by the fireplace reading a book situation of how we're dressing this year, which I'm down for. You know, I love I love grandpas, you know, so I, I don't mind dressing like one. Then we have chunky cardigans and oversized blazers. I put these together because they've been in for a while, so it's not really a surprise that they're trends right now. They're just kind of sticking around. I love an oversized blazer, so I'm so happy about this. I'm like, yes, let's keep them going. I think this is also an ode to the 70s trend that's going on right now. And not 70s in the way of like 
major like disco 70s type of style this is more of the 70s of like realistic dressing in the 70s what they were actually wearing so yeah oversized blazers kind of with the shoulder pads and then like jeans that are like relaxed no skinny jeans that's not really going on um it's more of like straight leg relaxed jeans and then like a nice boot like an over uh over the knee or at the knee boot so that's kind of that look that we're trying to envision that's what i'm hopefully going to be trying to do for a video coming up maybe styling some fall trends or something if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below and comment the, <laughs> let me know in the comments below and i would love to do it i'm probably going to do it anyway because i just love to do that and it's really fun every season there's so many trends and if you click on a new website they're going to have like 10 more trends than another website has so i tried to just go over some things that i've seen a lot and like reoccurring themes that i'm seeing a lot on my timeline on like you know um instagram and just on youtube and influencers and what they're talking about so i hope this was helpful for you guys i hope you learned some new trends that are going to be going on maybe you learned about what some trends that you're like mm -mm, i'm not doing it i'm not doing it or you're like oh that's really cute that kind of goes with my style so that's what this is all about dress for yourself you know don't dress for anybody else or what society is telling you you have to wear right now it's not that it's just like hey i think i'll try that it's kind of fun so i hope you guys got that from this video and nothing like you must wear these things no you do you boo and have fun fashion is fun and we're all just having fun let me know which ones you're going to be trying in the comments down below i really want to know like i'm like very curious because i want to see which ones are going to stick and which ones people are just going to shy away from so i'm personally going to be doing I think I'm gonna be trying the sweater vest trend. I'm gonna try it, you know. I'm definitely doing the ribbed knit dress trend. Oh, I love it. They're comfortable, they work, and the chunky boot trend is something that I really am gonna go for this season. So let me know what you guys are gonna be trying and what you're gonna be avoiding, and I will see you in another video coming very, very soon. Bye, guys.